don't call him Jerrykins, Jerryberry, or Geronimeister. He's Geronimo Stilton. Lost Treasure of the Emerald Eye was written by Geronimo Stilton and illustrated by... Huh, lots of people. It was published by Scholastic. It is about a mouse, Geronimo Stilton, his sister, Thea, his cousin, Trap, and his nephew, Benjamin. Every day, Geronimo runs his newspaper, the Rodents Gazette, in New Mouse City. One day, Thea shows him a treasure map of a faraway island. Soon, Geronimo is on an adventure on the high seas to find the Emerald Eye. Lost Treasure of the Emerald Eye is a chapter book with pictures and lots of graphical text like this. The story is full of adventure, although Geronimo is often worried about what Thea and Trap might do. It is also a kind of mystery book, as no one really knows what the Emerald Eye is. Geronimo narrates the story, so we see things through his eyes. I quite liked this book, but I didn't love it. It is a little bit slow to start. They don't get to the island until page 67. It is full of cheese, mouse and rat jokes, many of which are hard to understand. Look at this. Deep green water, green plants, green grass, green trees. Treasure Island would be the perfect place for a St. Patrat's Day party. St. Patrat is a play on St. Patrick's Day, where people wear a lot of green. Is it funny? I was also a bit disappointed by the ending, when we find out that the Emerald Eye is actually a which is a bit boring considering it's the name of the book. However, I know these are popular books and there are a lot of them, so maybe it's just not for me. Here are my ratings. Here's a sample. Late again. Putrid cheese puffs! It was nine o'clock, and I, Geronimo Stilton, was late for work. Again! I rolled out of bed in a minute and was dressed in two. Pretty fast, considering I'm really not a morning mouse. Cheese slices! I hate Monday mornings! I grumbled while brushing my teeth with cheddar-flavoured toothpaste. Then I hurried downstairs, stumbled over my tail, and tumbled all the way down to the door. Thump, thump, thump. So much for being quiet as a mouse. The streets of New Mouse City, the capital of Mouse Island, were as noisy as ever. I guess everyone was late just like me. Cheese delivery trucks were everywhere, horns blasting. Mice, rats and rodents of every size and shape raced by in cars, taxis and Mouse Jordan sneakers. Taxi! I shouted, jumping into a cab. 17 Swiss Cheese Centre! Minutes later, we pulled up to my editorial office. Oh yes, I forgot to tell you that I run a newspaper. It's called the Rodents Gazette. I took the stairs, two at a time, and burst inside. Whew, what a workout. I was pooped. Maybe I shouldn't have cancelled my membership at Rats Lane after all. 